let me bring him in then. Uh, you have heard the explanation of, you know, the, the party in government, the government in power, put it that way. Are you satisfied, first and foremost, with the explanation? And do you think it is coming too late? Well, we believe it is coming too late. And we agree with your assertion that the federal government appears... I'm making no assertions. Okay. I'm asking questions. Okay, okay. We, no, 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 no. In your first, uh, in your first um, comment, you did spoke about government being overwhelmed by uh, uh, the security situation, the insecurity situation that we have in the country today. And I totally agree with that. Because it is taking the government almost three years to uncover the realities of the insecurity in Nigeria, security situation in Nigeria. Almost three years out of a four year term, that is rather late. And the body language of Mr. President at every forum, locally or internationally, he has a body language that seems to defend his side on the issue of insecurity in Nigeria. How do you mean? How do I mean? During his last visit to President Donald Trump in the U.S., the president did emphasize the fact that a particular section of the nation who have been accused don't carry AK-47, that they only walk around with stick and cutlasses, maybe to kill... Is that animal. a lie? I mean... I, 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 I don't know if it's a lie, because I don't live within the region where these insecurity issues are happening. But if the other side are pointing accusing finger at a particular side, I believe that as a leader, I believe as a president, under whose purview, both the blue, the white, and the red Nigerians are, 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 are citizens. He is not supposed to go to international fora, or even, uh, even the domestic one. And take side. And no, 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 but I, I mean, let us let us you be understand? fair. So, let us be fair so, so, in, the, so, in the president's explanation now. Yes. He talks about how you know the Fulani men that we know, and I don't, don't know. You say that you know you don't know because you don't live in the areas of conflict. But everybody, I mean, if you live here in Nigeria, if you grew up here in Nigeria, know that when you were young, I mean, when I was young, I grew up in the southern part of the country, and I saw Fulani men uh, herd cows, and they only had sticks. Those were the type of Fulani men that we knew. Uh, so when he talks about those kinds of Fulani men, isn't that the general impression? Are you not that, that a little worried they, that these people who are being accused of carrying AK-47s, are, the are they the same people who used to carry sticks? Being the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, mm. the expectation of Nigeria is that he is privileged to have security information. And we do not want to believe that without conducting an investigation, that the president will naturally take sides or be seen or be perceived to have, been, to have taken sides with a particular uh, uh, part or a particular side of the crisis situation. What do you make of his that, explanation? That, that, I mean, let, let us... I, 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 my, the, my, the United States... Ex, I mean, the explanation in the United States did not just come in isolation. Let us take it together with his conversation with uh, the Archbishop of Canterbury, uh, Archbishop Welby, when he talked about Gaddafi's men, for instance, I mean, he talked about the traditional Fulani herdsmen and talked about how they had been infiltrated uh, by Gaddafi's men who were trained in, in, in Libya and, you know, having all those kinds of incursions. When we take it holistically, would you still say that he's taking sides? I will still say so. And my reason is very simple. Mr. President, at a point when he hosted the people of Benue State, told Nigerians that they should go and learn how to live with their neighbors. The Gaddafi men from Libya, are they our neighbors in Nigeria? And if they are our neighbors, how has the president told you and I, or explained in vivid terms to you and I, that the Gaddafi men who have come to live among us are responsible for these crimes against humanity? Mm. So that is, that is another, that is another yeah. issue. Mr. Okola, the, uh, I know that there's a, a, a bit of a time gap between the statements that we're referring to. I think that's important to note here because I think the Gaddafi explanation came much later than the one when he said uh, that, you know, there should be uh, good neighborliness in the country. If you look at uh, the initial...
kind of point where the statement was made. I want to I want to ask you about this. We know that this was just against the backdrop of uh, the Benue state govern uh, government uh, putting together the anti-grazing uh, the uh, grazing prohibition bill, uh, which essentially would expel the herdsmen. Now, if if the president has said that there should be neighborliness before the explanation of Gaddafi's people came into it, and if the president, who I think was just in Bauchi, came out and said, look, if I was not educated as a youth, then I could have also uh, been vulnerable to this kind of, uh, uh, you know, I guess, conduct, if you will. Do you think that that really conveys a president who has taken a side against the people of Nigeria in favor of Fulani Heidsman? A jury, I want to say that the federal government is engaging in guesswork on the issue of fighting insurgency and insecurity. And I say so because you can't be changing positions at every moment. What is expected of Mr. President is to have a holistic view of the security situation, is to have a holistic view of intelligence brought to him by the men who are on the field. You cannot today tell the nation that, oh, learn to live with your neighbor. Tomorrow you come again, oh, it is this as ahead, and the Libya, the Gaddafi men who are coming to, to fight us in this country. If you remember, on this same platform, I did say that the president seems not to understand, or the nation has not come to terms with those that are, are our enemies and those that we are fighting. It was long after that that the president came up with the narrative of the Gaddafi men. And please, Ajuri, if as a nation we are being invaded, is it a time to sit down and be, and, and be telling stories of how Gaddafi men are, are, are invading our nation? I expected that based on foreign affairs and bilateral relations, I expected that the mm -hmm. president would go to Libya and say, Libya, warn your men.